Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Bomberman Quest, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it turns out back at the beach zone, there actually is a hidden chest in this part of the map. So if we go over here, we picked up what looks like some kind of armor. In fact, it's the gold armor. Reduces all damage by three quarters while worn. So that's actually the best armor you can pretty much get right now. So, yeah, there you go. Technology effects of ice bombs, poison bombs, okay, not regular bombs. That's too bad. If it protected you from regular bombs, you probably would have been a little bit unstoppable. The leather armor might come in handy if ever we find this chaos bomber. Alright, I think it's time to head back to the fourth dungeon and get this over with. Be right back, everybody. Alright, I'm back. Let's continue on. I made it back to that point of the fourth dungeon just before the boss. And I made sure that I got that uh, golden armor on just in case I can get myself really screwed over. Let's do this. What are you doing here? You want something from me? Yeah, I do. I want to put you back where you belong. In prison! What for? I haven't done anything. Why do you want to fight with me? Oh, forget it. Just give me back my shuttle engine. Okay, apparently his explosions are pretty large. I would expect as much. But yeah, the hands I don't think hurt you themselves, but the fireballs do. I'm gonna move over there, thank you very much. Okay, and sometimes they'll shoot crescent waves. You just gotta dodge them easily. As long as you're like on the bottom wall, you'll have more time to dodge the attacks. Yeah, I'm taking far less damage to like regular attacks now, which is nice. In fact, I don't think I got hurt at all. Wow, this gold armor is broken. That's the last engine! Now I can finally get back to Planet Bomber! And now I got the most amount of health I can get. Yay! Let this get down to here. Oh, the music really changes. Uh, do I want more time bombs? Let's see, I might as well. Maybe I won't get the same bomb that I got before. Let's see what I get out of this clock and bomb combination. Short fuse bomb, yeah, I already got that. Alright. I'm gonna save, because apparently we're close to the end of the game. But believe it or not, if you do go back to the first three dungeons, you do find extra bosses. So, I figured since I got some time, why don't we go to the first optional boss? Alright, we're back at the end of Dungeon 1. I forgot to mention you can fight these optional bosses after you defeated the original boss. There you are! I've been looking for you! Really? What are you doing here, Mammy? Well, I'm a hidden character. Pretty cool, huh? I guess so. Come on, let's go! You and me, one-on-one! -on -one. Oh, by the way, you won't be able to use the menus, okay? What? Okay, I'm ready. I guess, let's go. Yep, you can't press pause. So, I think she has, like, the most amount of HP that a boss can get, which is... 10? Luckily, I've already equipped the bombs I want. If you didn't, well, she's probably gonna beat you. Because you can't escape, either. That requires a menu. You'd pretty much just be stuck. Okay, she she's able to dig. So she's giving herself more health. The only silver line to this is she'll eventually run out of spots to dig. So then if she does get all her health back, it'll be too 
too late for her. And you know what you win? You don't win anything. In fact, you still can't use your menu until you leave the room. So there are some neat gimmick battles you can have. All right, so I guess I'll meet you at Dungeon 2 then. All right, let's continue on here. We're at Dungeon 2. Let's face this boss. Well, well, fancy meeting you here. I'll say, what are you doing here? Oh, a little this and a little that, you know, out adventuring. There's so many interesting people here. I'm having so much fun. Interesting people? You mean the monsters? Yes, them. Anyway, as long as I'm here, would you like to duel? I know you would want to. Let's get started. Whoa, wait just a minute. I didn't. Ready? Here we go. Wait, I have a question. I don't suppose I can use menus here either? Of course not. Ready? Here we go. Again, same strategy, but this time she can actually jump. And her bombs pretty much have the maximum amount of reach. Okay, I forgot to put on my my big armor, and of course... Okay, I guess I gotta throw the bomb where she's about to jump. That way she can land right on the blast anyway. That would have been funny if she was able to get hurt by her own blast there. Because even when she teleports, just as long as a single frame touches the explosion, she's pretty much gonna get got. <sighs> when she puts a bomb like right next where it's gonna blow up, and it's just there instantly. That's kind of annoying. If you have your flag bomb powered up, you'll have a much easier time against this boss. As opposed to, like, if you didn't. Okay, I'm noticing that I'm getting more health for this. So apparently defeating these optional bosses does give you extensions to your health bar. I did not realize that. I just realized why I was a little bit tankier than usual. Anyway, on to the third boss. Alright, back at the third dungeon again, because I certainly did not like going through here the first time or two. Got myself all prepared, let's take on the third boss. Oh ho ho ho! You may not have realized it, but the real star of this game is me! What? What are you talking about? Hmm? Are you still here? Shoot! I'm the star now! No, you're not. This is my game. I'm the main character. Well, you don't have to get all upset about it. Tell you what, if you can beat me, I'll let you be the star of this game, all right? Like I've been trying to tell you, I already am the star. I've had just about enough of you. Are you ready to settle this? Um, what about using the menus? No, no, you can't use any menus. I thought so. Okay, then, here we go. Oh god, I, I can get stunned. Oh jeez, is he mimicking my loadout? Because if so, I'm in trouble. Well, I think it takes like four bombs for me to take damage, or three. God, he's fast too. So he's not mimicking my whole loadout. Just enough of it to be... Pretty damn annoying. He's dumb enough to get hurt by his own bomb, so which is nice. So if it was a matter of tanking it out, I would have the advantage thanks to the gold armor. There, these bombs do explode instantly when they come in contact with a wall. So they can't just stay in the air indefinitely. pretty much stay stunned the whole time, so there's no recovery. And he basically just killed himself. Good for him! Alright, I'm not gonna cut away to the next area, because, well, I'm pretty much at the next area. Alright, so now that I'm saved, and I got all four engines, let's go to the ship. 
and you can leave anytime. So yeah, that's one of the endings you get for capturing all the monsters. With the engines reattached, the bomber shuttle is as good as new. I think. <laughs> After capturing all the monsters, Bomberman sets off in the repaired bomber shuttle for Planet Bomber. He is so vain. <laughs> oh, well, that ends. Well... Huh? What's that? Suddenly, an ominous shadow fell across the bomber shuttle. As it found its way blocked. Rather than just going around it. Locked by the secret power behind the four commanders. The Moonlight Knight from Sailor Moon. I mean, Bomberman's true enemy! The Chaos Bomber! You've defeated my commanders. I'm impressed. Not bad for a little kid. Who are you calling a kid? You want me to throw you in a cell too? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You have no idea who you're dealing with. A little boy like you is no match for my chaos power. Would you stop calling me a kid? Who do you think you are, anyway? Chaos power? Hm. I'm not afraid of you. Take your best shot. Foolish boy. Very well, then. Prepare yourself! Alright, so this is an optional final boss. Oh. So, this is a boss you pretty much have to use your wings. Because those lasers will hit you. Oh, he makes bombs teleport. So as long as you use the wings to oh, I didn't know there was a bomb right there. Okay, this guy is already BS. Okay, I am taking damage. Do I have... I have the gold armor on, and I'm still taking damage from one move. So I think the leather armor is what you have to use to avoid dying. Okay, he got hit by one of my bombs. Good. So as long as I... Oh, wow. As long as I put the flak bomb somewhere in the middle, I should be fine. What's he doing? Okay, I was able to stop that attack, whatever it was. So if you throw a bomb at him, he's going to teleport. And if you get too close, he's going to teleport. Oh, come on! I had little time to prepare for that. Luckily, my flag bombs are powerful enough that the blast stays there for a long time. Uh-oh. Okay, that attack hurts you instantly! So that's why he takes a long time to use it. Because if you're unlucky, it can flat out kill you. One disadvantage to using the uh, wings is that you can't use any bombs in midair. Oh, I thought that blast was gonna get him. Ah, I was hoping I'd lure him into a bomb. Oh, okay, I got hurt by my own bomb, like a dumbass. Good job. And I don't think the leather armor protects me from my own explosions. That'd be dainty as hell if that worked. Good, he got stuck. Oh, I got both my bombs into him. Okay, keep it up. He's down to one hit. I thought I used my wings a little too early. He's got a lot of range on his regular bombs, which annoys me. There, I got him! Oh, come on! He has another phase! Okay, same strategy. So I guess I can't throw bombs at him anymore. I'll just have to throw myself into the air. I thought I got him with one of the bombs earlier. 
Okay, his attacks seem easier to manage this time. The sparks kinda home on you, but they can be jumped over. And then he shoots in like four cardinal directions that can also be dodged. I guess if you walk, you can still dodge the uh, sparks pretty easily. If you care to do it like that. But I think the wings just gives you a little bit more freedom. Oh, he wasn't close enough, really. Oh, he shot at that time! A jerk. It's as if he's an embodiment of chaos, literally. Oh, wow, my wings wore off. I pressed the wrong button. I thought I was gonna get hit at that very instant the wings wore off. As long as I have my bombs spread a little bit, I should be fine. I guess he only fires in the four cardinal directions when he stops. So that's an easy tell. As far as the sparks. Oh wow, I hit myself on the tail end of it like a dumbass. I gotta remember to use my heart if I need to. Too bad I don't have a big one. That would have been really good at a time like this. Especially with 10 HP. Come on, go towards it. Can I throw the bomb at him this time? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't tell- oh god! Okay, I can throw the bombs at him. He doesn't teleport as frequently. Did you see this? Whenever I pick up a bomb, there's like a gray box. Okay, if I'm gonna be using that, I just have to avoid getting hit. So let me go back to this. And I guess I might as well use the heart. I guess while I'm here, if vulnerable for a short time, I see some sparks by my feet. I guess throwing is still a reliable choice because I can just let the explosion do the work rather than the bomb itself. Oh, he's almost dead. There! Did it! a good fight. After an epic battle, Bomberman defeats the mighty Chaos Bomber. His work done, our hero sets out once again for Planet Bomber with the captured monsters. Did he put Chaos Bomber in there too? Roar! Growl! Exclamation point. Let's go! End. I guess there's, like, no credits whatsoever. Oh! I spoke too soon. And that's it! That's Bomberman Quest for the Nintendo Game Boy Color. What do I think about that game overall? I thought it was actually pretty good, but... A lot of hard moments, so to speak. Especially the third boss, which gave me so many, uh... Struggles. I'll say that much right now. Another thing I wasn't really a fan of, because you were using bombs like Bomberman would, it was very slow paced for each battle, because there was only like one enemy, and it could be an annoying struggle just to try to hit it. Once you figure it out, you can use the flak bombs and throw them. It makes the fight so much easier, but that's if you've been upgrading its firepower to give the explosions more time. The touch of adding uh, optional bosses, which I guess were in previous Bomberman games, like maybe the 3D ones that I've never played, possibly even the one for the Sega Saturn, it did make it a neat little challenge that really rewarded you with extra health if you're able to win. I did not know they gave you extra health. If I knew that, or knew, if I known that, I would have taken them on sooner. But oh well, what's done is done. 
So, as for my next side let's play, I haven't decided yet, but anything could be up in the air. This is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next let's play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I shall see you next time.